Now the big news, obviously, in the last couple of weeks has been has been Franz Stein coming back to the Cheetahs. That's obviously something that's made you very happy, I'm sure. And uh, uh, just maybe take us through how that all happened. I mean, because he's obviously a marquee player, player with a lot of a lot of experience, two World Cup wins. A player like that's invaluable for a team like you. yours. I mean, yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> when I joined the Cheetahs, MJ um, Smith told me that Franz wants to come back to Bloom. Um, he wants to, to buy a house and he wants his children to go to school in Bloemfontein and that's where it all started. So I made contact with Franz and with his agent, um, Ruan Pinar also helped a bit. And then I've spoken to, to Rossi um, to find out what, um, how is a rugby sees the whole situation and Rossi was very supportive. Um, he also wanted Franz to come to Bloom and um, to join us, so he helped us as, as well. Um, to have a, a player like... Franz in our squad will be re really valuable to us. Um, we've got a small budget and it's important for me to have players, especially in the back line, that's versatile and can play in, in different positions. Um, we will only be able to contract about 35 players for next year um, instead of the 45. So um, to, to cope with 10 less players, you've got to have players in your squad that's versatile and can, and can play in different positions. And um, Franz will, will not just bring versatility, he's a, he's a really quality player, he played at a high level since he was 19 years old. He played in different positions, different competitions, so um, I'm pretty sure he'll make a big difference to our squad. You say Ron Pino helped, uh, how did he help? I mean, did he... <laughs> Yeah, the two of them played together at Montpellier and um, they are big mates since, since school, I think. And they played uh, together at the Sharks for many years. So um, they're good friends and Ruan just helped me to get in contact with France and um, to, um, to negotiate the deal. And he gave me some inside info sometimes, <laughs> which helped a bit with the negotiations. So, um, yeah, he played his part. Yeah, we've seen already the impact that Ruan had, especially last year in the Curry Cup with Franco there. Uh, and then this year already, he's, he's been an invaluable player with just that experience that he has, especially in a competition like Pro 14. Yeah, Ruan sets a, a very high standard to, to the whole squad and to himself. Um, he's always the last guy out of the gym, one of the fittest in the team. And um, sometimes I thought, well, this guy is 35 now, 36. Um, I've got to manage him a bit better and give him some of the sessions off. And he doesn't want to do it. He just wants to be on the field and, and sets the standard, sets the example. And um, that's what I expect from France as well. He's a seasoned international. He played 67 tests over a career of about 12, 13 years um, at that level. So um, I, I know that France will bring that that same edge to our team and, and that's something we need. We've got a lot of um, quality players in our team, but um, I feel we, we need guys with international experience in the squad as well. And um, as we saw from, from Ruan, that will make a huge difference to us.